Hello and welcome to another video. Let's create a um, enter name screen, sort of like the one in Undertale. Let's get started. All right, so when you open the uh, example file, you are going to find uh, this here. So let me change the background color to gray. And you can see that these are just uh, pictures, all right? Which means that you can replace those, all right? I also have a uh, another graphic uh, to act as a marker. If you play the, um, the animation, you notice that this blinks. So if you run this, oops. Um, it looks like this, okay? I also have an edit box and uh, I changed the background to black, all right? So it will blend with the, uh, the rest of the backgrounds. Um, I also have a counter and that's it pretty much. So let's uh, get started. Okay, so let's uh, go to the event editor and let's begin by setting up a condition with the keyboard. The user presses right. Uh, let's add one to the counter. Let's try that out. That works fine. I'm going to copy this and uh, I'm going to create a uh, left um, condition. And this time we're going to subtract from the counter. Let's try it out. All right, that works fine. If our counter uh, is equal to zero, then we're going to set our highlighter position uh, equals the position of A. And uh, if the counter is equal to one, then we can set the position to B equals a two. You set the position to C and, and you get the idea that you can do all the letters like this, okay? Let's uh, try this out. And that works fine. If the um, user presses a uh, control or any key you choose, while the highlighter is um, overlapping, say, A, then we um, set the text of the edit box equals uh, the text of the edit box plus A straight out that works fine uh, let's copy this and uh, if the user presses uh, B actually if the uh, if the highlighter is overlapping B then you get a B. All right, let's do C, overlapping C. Then you get a C. All right, so let's create a uh, space. I'm going to set this uh, to, uh, to three. And I'm gonna set it to the space key. I'm gonna copy this. And uh, while the highlights overlap in space, we want to do the same thing, but uh, this time, instead of using a letter, we're just simply going to leave it blank. Make sure that you hit space bar. All right, let's try it out. Let's enter uh, back. Space back, all right, and that seems to work fine. Okay, so let's uh, do backspace. Let's go to the event editor, and I'm going to set this uh, to four, and um, I'm going to set it to the back space key or graphic. This as well. And uh, here I'm going to simply delete this uh, text and replace it for left string. And our string is going to be uh, whatever is inside the uh, edit box. And for the number of characters, we are going to use uh, strings, uh, length of a string. 
and the string is going to be our edit box okay and uh, we're gonna do this at minus one all right let's try it out let's enter um, this let's uh, hit backspace and that seems to work fine all right so let's do the uh, ok button and this will be pretty much the same thing I'm going to set this one to 5 and um, I'm going to select the OK button again and this time I'm not going to enter anything uh, the first thing that I want to do is uh, set the um, global string A equals um, the content of the uh, edit box alright and then we can send our user to next frame okay so here is the uh, second frame let's go to the event editor and let's do some quick setup at the start of the frame we want to set this uh, string here equals um, uh, global string a right now if you run it it's not gonna have anything but uh, if you enter something here let's go OK and that seems to work fine alright thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel alright uh, don't forget see you next time